So today I'm going to show you the damage that I did at Target in the makeup section. Um, the number one reason for going was actually to get some foundation, which I did in fact get, so I'm glad about that. But before I get started, I want to mention my nail polish because I think you guys will be seeing my nails a lot in this video because I'll be showing you all the products. This is my current obsession. It's by OPI. I did not get this today though. This is in Color So Hot It Burns. And it's just gorgeous, glossy red. Um, two coats and it looks absolutely amazing and I just, I'm obsessed with it. I really, really love it. So that's that. Now let's go ahead and jump on into the products. All right, so first, keeping on with the nail polish trend, I got two new nail polishes from L'Oreal. And I think this is like their spring collection because all the colors are really springy. There was one that was like a lime green that was really pretty, but I just, I didn't really see myself wearing lime green nail polish very often. Um, but I got this little, um, like, lilac purple one, and this is called Royalty Reinvented. And then I got this gorgeous kind of corally pink, and it's called Orange You Jealous. But it's really not orange, it's like really corally, and I think it's so pretty and like a creamy, um, Color. And I really like these like creamy colors, especially for the spring. I think they're just like really girly and feminine. So I got those. And then obviously I got my Maybelline Fit Me Foundation. This is in 130. I love this. It just gives such a healthy like glow to my face. And it's unlike any other um, foundation that I have because it doesn't make me feel like cakey or like, I don't know. It just, it gives like a healthy glow. It like makes my skin look really nice. So I really, really love this. And that's obviously what I have on right now. And then another nail polish that I got is by Sally Hansen, and this is her Luster Shine Collection, and this is in the color Firefly. Oh my gosh, it's so beautiful. has like a crazy blue and purple duochrome. It's just absolutely amazing looking. It's kind of bronze and then kind of green. I think this will look so good in the summertime, so I got that. And then from, oops, from Revlon, I got one of their Just Fit and Lip Balms Lip Stains. Because I remember not liking these, and so I want to try them again. Just, I don't know how that works in my mind, but I tried it again, and this is actually in the color Instinct, and I just don't like it. I don't know if I don't use it correctly, but like, I don't know. Like, it comes out like really like watery and like not very pigmented. Like, look at that. Like, that's, I don't know what the problem is. Like, I just... I just really do not like these and I'm glad I tried it again because I always like think like when other people talk about lip stains I'm like oh yeah I really should try to work with mine and make it work but I just I just don't so this was kind of a fail of a product and I definitely will not be buying any more of those um, but I got this L'Oreal and this is in the color Pink Resistance and this is like something that I've never seen before I'm not sure what it's called doesn't have like any name but this is what it looks like I think these are new um, and I actually tried this as well, and I kind of think it's also somewhat of a fail product as well. It's just really, really sheer, and it doesn't have much color, like, at all. I mean, it's a pretty pink gloss, but it's not going to be, like, a color. And it's something that could go nicely over a pink lipstick, but on its own, it's pretty much like a sheer, really, really sheer gloss. Like, you don't get any color off of it, which I thought it was going to actually be, like, a... I don't know. I think... In the display, it says something about being like a lip stain or like a lip lacquer or something, but it just really, I don't know, it's like a really sheer lip gloss, so that's that. I feel like this is becoming a negative haul, which it's not supposed to be at all, but I've tried pretty much a few of these things, so I wanted to at least give you guys my thoughts on them. Um, the next thing I got are two blushes. These are both from Revlon. This first one is Wine With Everything, which I think is just such a beautiful rosy wine color and my mom actually used to use this so it kind of like reminds me of her and I don't know I just I love the color of it and I also got smoky rose which is just a smoky rose color this one is a little bit um darker than wine with everything but a little bit more pink and I really like it and these are really um nice they're not like insanely pigmented but they're great for building up and they don't like look too harsh on your cheeks and I just I really like them and they're great for powder blushes so I got those and then I also got another blush this is from L'Oreal Paris and this is their dream mousse blush which I am obsessed with and this is in the color plum now um oh wait no it's called magic souffle I'm sorry not dream mousse that's like another brand or something but yes this is the magic souffle blush by L'Oreal 
and I love these, oh my gosh, but look, it kind of like got a little funky looking in the container, but it's so, so pretty. I have it on right now, just a tiny bit of it. A little bit of this goes a really long way. It's just a gorgeous, like rosy plum color, and I just love the consistency of it. It's like more of a powdery effect than um, a normal cream blush, but then it also gives that kind of dewy finish. It's just like the best of both worlds of like a cream and a powder blush combined in one. So I really, really like that. And the other blush I got is from L'Oreal. And this is their True Match blush in the color Baby Blossom, which is just a really pretty light baby pink. I really wanted something other than like these deep, like kind of plum wine tones. So I got this really light pink color. For some reason, I've like lost all my blushes. So I kind of, that's why I went on like a crazy blush kick and bought a bunch of new ones, but yeah. And I also lost my blush brush. Blush brush, that sounds so weird. Um, so I got this Sonia Kashuk one, and it was kind of expensive. I think it was like $14 or something, but it's really nice. It's very, very soft, and I think it deposits color well. I like that it's angled too, and um, overall, it's a pretty good brush, but it kind of was a little bit expensive. And then I also got an eyeliner. This is just the black L'Oreal Telescopic Liner. Just nothing too exciting, I was just out of it. And then I also got this Topsy Turvy All-in-One Styling um, little hairband. I don't know. It says you can create all these different looks, which who knows if you can actually do that. But I thought I would do a little like review and demo on this. I just I love doing these little like gimmicky things and seeing if they work. So I'll definitely be trying this out soon. And then I got a really exciting new um, collection of some Revlon lip products. You guys know I love them, just like I love the Revlon lip butters. Now, these were on a display above the Revlon lip butter, so I'm not sure if they're like supposed to be similar or what the deal is, but they're called Colorstay Ultimate Suede, and I got four different colors. I think there was like eight colors maybe? I'm not quite sure, I'll double check on that. Um, okay, but the first color I got was in preview and this is a really pretty like hot pink so I'll go ahead and do a little swatch of this and this has a pretty decent um, color payoff it's not super super intense which is nice because I was kind of expecting it to be a little too bright but it's not too bright but it does have a nice amount of color and this next one is this really fun coral color this is called cruise collection which is such a beautiful like bright orangey coral I think this will be so fun for like the spring and summer so there's cruise collection and then I got this one is called private viewing which is like a really pretty like champagne -y nude color um, this one's more of like a frosty sheen, if anything. I mean, it's, I don't know. I don't know how well this will like show up on your lips. I can definitely do a video like actually wearing these so you guys can see them. And once I've like played around with them, maybe a review because I feel like it's hard to see the colors just on my hand, but I mean, it's better than nothing. And then this last color is like a really, really hot pink and this is in Muse. So I'll go ahead and show you this one. This one definitely has like more like purpley tones, but none of them are like super, super intense, which I kind of like. I mean, they all look semi sheer and kind of um, very glossy and hydrating. So I'll definitely kind of do a more in-depth review on these once I use them and see if I like them. And the last thing that I got is something really exciting. This is the Sally Hansen Insta Gel Strips, and this is the Gel Manicure Starter Kit. So as this is up to two weeks worth of, um, it'll last on your nails for two weeks, and it says they're chip resistant, and they're like little strips, and so it comes with like the little mini lamp, and then I guess like the little file and everything, and the strips, and then the top coat, so this is like the starter kit that they said you needed to then use like all the other strips, I guess because you need the little lamp and stuff, so I got this, and then I got an extra little strip because this one is like the Shall We Dance, which is like a really pretty kind of pinky color. And so then I also got this um, other gel strip, and this is actually in like a, it looks kind of like a snake print. I don't know. I think this will be fun to try out. So I'm definitely going to do maybe a little um, review demo on this if you guys would be interested. I don't know. I think I'm going to give it a try and see how it works. And then I also got a pair of these Salon Effects by Sally Hansen, and these are just the ones that are like the little stickers, which really do not last very long. I feel like they last like, I don't know, if you're careful, maybe four days. Um, but this is like the backwards manicure where it has like the um, little black French tip, and I just think it's really cute, and I can never do this on my own nails, and I don't know, I, I don't know. I just don't really get my nails done. I like to just do them myself a lot, so I thought this would be cute for like if I had an event and I wanted to wear this little like 
French Manny that has the little black tips because I think that's kind of cute and different. So that is everything that I got in my haul. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you guys would like a review, a demo, or a look using any of these products, please let me know down below and I definitely can try to do that for you. So I'll see you guys soon and yeah, thanks for watching again. Bye everyone.